Imagine the smell of warm cookies fresh out of the oven, the crunch of your favorite candy, or the smooth, velvety taste of a rich chocolate cake. These sugary treats are not just delicious, they are incredibly hard to resist. But why is that? Why do we find ourselves reaching for sweets even when we know we should not? Sugar is everywhere, hidden in a wide variety of foods, from obvious sources like desserts to unexpected places like bread and sauces. Its impact on brain chemistry is profound, influencing our cravings and behaviors. In this video, we will explore how sugar affects the brain and influences behavior, uncovering the reasons behind its irresistible allure. 1. Understanding Sugar Sugar is a type of carbohydrate and a primary source of energy for our bodies. It exists in various forms, with glucose, fructose, sucrose, and maltose being the most common. Glucose, often referred to as blood sugar, is crucial for cellular energy production. Fructose, found naturally in fruits and honey, is sweeter than glucose. Sucrose, known as table sugar, is a combination of glucose and fructose and is commonly used in baking and cooking. Maltose, or malt sugar, is found in germinating grains and is less sweet than sucrose. Sugar is everywhere in our diet. Obvious sources include sweets, chocolates, and sugary drinks, but it also lurks in many processed foods. Bread, ketchup, salad dressings, and even some canned vegetables contain added sugars. High fructose corn syrup, a prevalent sweetener in processed foods, combines glucose and fructose. This omnipresence of sugar makes it challenging to avoid, often leading to unintentional overconsumption. Even foods labeled as healthy, like granola bars and flavored yogurts, can be surprisingly high in sugar. Despite its negative reputation, sugar plays essential roles in our bodies. It is a quick and efficient energy source, vital for brain function and physical activities. Our cells, especially brain cells, rely heavily on glucose to function correctly. During exercise, muscles use glucose to fuel contractions. Without sufficient sugar, we can experience fatigue, dizziness, and impaired cognitive function. However, it is crucial to balance sugar intake to avoid the adverse effects of excessive consumption. Two, the brain's response to sugar. When sugar hits your tongue, it activates sweet taste receptors, setting off a fascinating chain reaction in your brain. These taste receptors are specialized cells located primarily on the tongue and are designed to detect sweet substances. Once activated, they send electrical signals through the taste nerves to the brain stem. This initial response is just the beginning of sugar's journey in the brain. From the brain stem, the signals travel to various areas of the forebrain, including the cerebral cortex. The cerebral cortex processes these signals, helping you recognize the sweet taste. This recognition is accompanied by the perception of pleasure, thanks to the brain's reward system. The reward system is a group of structures that include the nucleus accumbens, the ventral tegmental area, and parts of the prefrontal cortex. These areas work together to regulate feelings of pleasure and reinforcement, which are crucial for motivating behaviors. When sugar is consumed, dopamine, a key neurotransmitter in the brain's reward system, is released. Dopamine is often referred to as the feel-good neurotransmitter because it plays a significant role in creating sensations of pleasure and satisfaction. The release of dopamine in response to sugar intake reinforces the behavior, making you more likely to seek out and consume sugary foods again. This process is similar to how the brain responds to other pleasurable activities, such as social interactions or physical exercise. The journey of sugar doesn't end with the initial rush of pleasure. As sugar continues to be consumed, the brain's reward system adapts. Over time, the same amount of sugar may not produce the same level of pleasure, leading to increased consumption to achieve the desired effect. This phenomenon is known as tolerance. 
the brain adjusts to frequent sugar intake by reducing the number of dopamine receptors or altering their sensitivity, which can drive the cycle of craving and consumption. Additionally, the brain's reward system is linked to the limbic system, which controls emotions and memory. This connection means that the pleasure from eating sugary foods can create strong emotional memories, further reinforcing the behavior. For instance, enjoying a sweet treat during a happy moment can lead to a subconscious association between sugar and positive emotions. This association can trigger cravings for sugary foods during times of stress or sadness as a way to recapture those positive feelings. Understanding the brain's response to sugar helps explain why sugary foods are so hard to resist. The activation of taste receptors and the subsequent release of dopamine create a powerful reward signal that encourages repeated consumption. This reward signal, combined with the brain's ability to adapt and develop tolerance, makes it easy to fall into a cycle of frequent sugar intake. Recognizing these mechanisms is the first step in managing sugar consumption and maintaining healthier eating habits. Three, dopamine and sugar, the neurochemistry of desire. Dopamine is a crucial neurotransmitter in the brain's reward system, playing a vital role in how we experience pleasure and motivation. It is released in response to rewarding stimuli, creating feelings of enjoyment and reinforcing behaviors that are essential for survival, like eating and socializing. When dopamine is released, it communicates with various brain regions to produce sensations of pleasure and satisfaction. Sugar consumption triggers a significant release of dopamine, which is why it feels so satisfying to eat sweet foods. This dopamine release is similar to what occurs during other pleasurable activities, such as social interactions or exercise. However, the intensity and speed of the dopamine spike from sugar can be more pronounced. Research has shown that sugar can activate the brain's reward system even more powerfully than some drugs, such as cocaine, Lenoir, Serre, Cantin, and Ahmed, 2007. This powerful response is what makes sugar so appealing and hard to resist. The addictive potential of sugar lies in its ability to cause repeated, significant spikes in dopamine levels. Unlike other foods that provide a gradual release of nutrients and a steady supply of energy, sugary foods create a rapid and intense dopamine release. This sudden spike can lead to a cycle of craving and consumption as the brain seeks to replicate the pleasurable sensation. Over time, the brain adapts to these frequent dopamine surges by reducing the number of dopamine receptors or altering their sensitivity. This adaptation results in increased tolerance, meaning that more sugar is needed to achieve the same level of pleasure. Comparatively, other dopamine-inducing activities, such as social interactions or physical exercise, provide more balanced and sustained dopamine levels. These activities contribute to long-term well-being and do not create the same cycle of craving and tolerance. For example, engaging in social activities or enjoying a hobby can lead to consistent, moderate releases of dopamine that support overall happiness and mental health without the risk of developing addictive behaviors. In contrast, the rapid and intense dopamine release caused by sugar consumption can make it challenging to control intake. This is why many people find themselves reaching for sugary snacks even when they are not hungry. The brain's reward system has been hijacked, driving the desire for more sugar to achieve the same pleasurable effect. Understanding this neurochemical process helps explain why sugar can be so addictive and highlights the importance of managing sugar intake to avoid falling into a cycle of dependency. Four, consequences of frequent sugar consumption. Frequent sugar consumption has profound effects on the brain's reward system. When you eat sugary foods regularly, your brain gets used to the frequent dopamine spikes leading to a higher tolerance. This means you need more sugar to experience the same level of pleasure. This cycle of cravings and increased tolerance can quickly spiral out of control, 
making it difficult to limit sugar intake. This pattern mirrors substance addiction. Studies have shown that high sugar consumption can alter brain chemistry in ways similar to addictive drugs. Avena, Rada, and Hobel, 2008. Just as with drugs, the brain starts to crave the substance that provides the dopamine rush. Over time, the pleasure derived from sugar decreases, but the compulsion to consume it remains strong, leading to a loss of control over consumption. This cycle of addiction can have significant negative impacts on both mental and physical health. Mentally, the constant craving for sugar can lead to mood swings, anxiety, and even depression. The temporary high from sugar is often followed by a crash, leaving you feeling irritable and low. This roller coaster of emotions can affect daily life, reducing overall well being and productivity. Physically, excessive sugar intake is linked to a host of health problems. High sugar consumption can lead to weight gain and obesity, which are risk factors for numerous chronic diseases such as type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and certain cancers. Additionally, consuming too much sugar can cause insulin resistance, leading to higher blood sugar levels and increasing the risk of developing diabetes. Moreover, the impact of sugar on the brain goes beyond addiction. Frequent sugar intake can impair cognitive functions, including memory and learning. Research has shown that high sugar diets can lead to inflammation and oxidative stress in the brain, which can damage brain cells and impair mental performance. This can make it harder to focus, remember information, and make decisions. Five, the role of variety in diet and brain chemistry. The brain responds differently to new versus familiar tastes. When you try a new food, the novelty stimulates the brain's reward system releasing dopamine and creating a pleasurable experience. This novelty effect keeps the brain engaged and interested. On the other hand, familiar foods may not produce the same level of excitement over time as the brain adapts and the dopamine response diminishes. This is why eating a variety of foods is so crucial. A varied diet helps maintain balanced dopamine levels by continually introducing new flavors and textures preventing the brain from losing interest in food. This variety ensures that eating remains an enjoyable and stimulating activity. When the brain stays engaged with a diverse diet, it is less likely to crave excessive amounts of any one type of food, including sugar. This balance helps avoid the cycle of cravings and tolerance that can lead to unhealthy eating habits. Nutritional diversity is another key benefit of a varied diet. Different foods provide different nutrients essential for overall health. By eating a wide range of foods, you ensure that your body receives a comprehensive array of vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients necessary for optimal functioning. For example, fruits and vegetables provide vitamins and antioxidants, while proteins offer essential amino acids. This variety supports not only brain health, but also physical well being. Incorporating a wide range of foods into your diet can enhance your health and keep your meals interesting. It can help maintain balanced dopamine levels, prevent the brain from becoming bored with food, and ensure you receive a broad spectrum of nutrients. Six, strategies for managing sugar consumption. Reducing sugar consumption does not mean sacrificing the enjoyment of food. One effective strategy is to gradually decrease the amount of sugar in your diet. Start by cutting back on sugary drinks, which are a major source of added sugars. Replace soda and sweetened beverages with water, herbal teas, or sparkling water with a splash of fruit juice. This simple change can significantly reduce your sugar intake without compromising taste. Another approach is to choose healthier alternatives to satisfy your sweet tooth. Fresh fruits are naturally sweet and provide essential vitamins, fiber, and antioxidants. When craving something sweet, opt for a piece of fruit or a small serving of berries. If you enjoy baking, experiment with using less sugar or substituting it with natural sweeteners like honey or maple syrup in moderation. Incorporate balanced meals into your daily routine 
to help stabilize dopamine responses and prevent cravings. Eating a mix of proteins, healthy fats, and complex carbohydrates keeps you full longer and helps maintain steady blood sugar levels. This balance reduces the likelihood of sudden cravings for sugary snacks. Include foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids, such as salmon, flax seeds, and walnuts, which support brain health and can help regulate dopamine levels. Engaging in alternative activities that stimulate dopamine production can also help manage sugar cravings. Physical exercise, for example, is a natural way to boost dopamine levels and improve mood. Activities like walking, cycling, or yoga can provide a healthy dopamine boost. Additionally, hobbies and social interactions can offer pleasurable experiences that do not rely on sugar. By making these small adjustments, you can effectively manage your sugar consumption and improve your overall diet. Gradually reducing sugar intake, choosing healthier alternatives, and focusing on balanced meals can help stabilize your brain's dopamine responses and prevent cravings. Incorporating physical activity and enjoyable hobbies into your routine provides additional dopamine boosts, supporting a healthier lifestyle. We have explored how sugar impacts the brain and behavior, from triggering the brain's reward system to fostering addictive patterns and health issues. Moderation and informed choices are key. By understanding sugar's effects and implementing practical strategies, you can reduce intake and enjoy healthier alternatives. Take charge of your sugar consumption and prioritize balanced, nutritious meals. Stay informed and continue learning about how diet influences your well being. Take action today by removing or reducing sugar off your diet and see the positive impact on your overall health. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more health related content, and share this video with your friends and family to raise awareness about the danger of sugar. Stay healthy, stay blessed. See you in the next video.